Welcome back everyone, it's me bro and today we shall add a storage unit to our system. So in today's video first I will work on the actual code itself. So let's go to our UI confirm by widget where we are accepting the item movement and over here I've already added the chest pin so if you don't have one make sure you add it. And for the chest we need to do something very similar as we have for the store. So I will move the shop piece back a little bit and I'm basically going to copy pretty much the same functionality I have for the store except I'm not going to remove money as we do for the shop one. So let's see from the chest instead of running this through the move item what we are going to do is drag in a reference to our player then as our player we need to get our interactable and as our interactable we want to is item available message to check if the item is still available and that's going to be the first node that we are going to run uh, when we move items from the chest so for the item let's use our item variable and for the index we need to use our item index then from over here we can do a if branch check to see if we were successful with adding an item then let's drag in a reference to our character so the player reference and as our player we want to add item there we go so add item on true for the item we can again use our item and for the source i'm gonna use i'm gonna type in chest but as of right now we don't really have a system for that so the source doesn't really matter and then again we can do another if branch check to see if we were successful with adding an item and then we again need a reference to our interactable as our player we want to do the server by items so server by items the first target is our player because this function uh, is in our character and for the other target this is going to be our interactable for the index let's use our item index and for the item of course we need to use our item variable then we can run our refresh widget so I'm just gonna copy this and let's paste this at the end and we need quite a few more of these so here is from the first false I'm gonna reroute this real quick and I will need another one from over here as well so the next thing that we should do probably is work on our move items function to have the possibility to move items to the chest but the issue right now is that we don't have enough of the functions because what I want to do is I want to have a different type of uh, storage for my chest because as of right now for the store for example uh, it is unlimited size but for the chest I want to limit it so before we can do something in here we need to work on our interface because it needs another function as of right now we have the starting interaction buying selling retrieving uh, items and checking if the item is still available what else we want to do is check if it has space for this one we want to have a new input and on this one we want to pass along the item which is our s slots structure type and we need a return value which I'm gonna call a return and this is going to be a boolean now that's pretty much it so we can go now to our third person character and inside of our third person character we can look for our move items function and let's see so if the direction is the chest we want to add a pin for that so we have a chest and then we can drag in our interactable and as our interactable we can check if it has space message let's connect this to the execution from the chest and for the item we can use our local item then we can do an if branch check to see if if it has space so now over here from the false route we can return false on the return node and from the true let's go to the source switch then let's see so for the source we can add a pin for our chest probably which can we can add to the return node over here just like we did for the shop uh, but usually if we the direction is the chest it will probably come from the inventory player or equipment slots so it's going to remove one of these items as of right now we are checking if any of these is successful and if the uh, direction is the shop but instead what I want to do 
since we have now multiple uh, sources because we don't want to have that logic be ran over here because first we want to try to remove an item from our character to see if it actually has the item and if it has and if the removal was successful only then we want to add it to the chest now I'm gonna do some small changes so I'm gonna move this out and actually do if an if branch check only to see if any of these is true so let's plug that in let's disconnect this part right here and now from the true route instead of simply running this whole function which uh, gives us money and adds item to the shop we want to do a switch so we want to do another switch on in, uh, on the string so switch on string and for the uh, selection we want to use our direction once more so we run it once at the beginning and once here at the end and here we want to have the shop and we want to have our chest as well so from the shop we can go up here uh, to do this job right here to add money and add item and so we can now remove these nodes uh, from the false we probably want to return false as well so since this is false and we want to do the same thing from our default route as well and for the chest we want to drag in our interactable and we want to run our server cell items using an interactable as the target for the input right here and the item is our local item from over here then at the end of this we can simply return true since well we did all the checks already before and at this point it should be just fine so now we can compile and save this and we are pretty much done with the logic at this part now let's create the actual chest and give the chest itself some logic so i'm going to go to the content browser and i'm going to do this over here create a new blueprint class let's use a static mesh actor type for this one and let's call this bp chest let's open this up uh, so we have a base static mesh component and in my case I'm just going to use a crate as of right now so we have a wooden crate. Now let's select the self reference of this actor and what we want to do is we want to replicate this actor. Uh, this is very important and also we want to add a tag to this which needs to be a chest since in all of our switches we used chest as a tag. Now let's go to our class settings and we want to add our AI interactions interface so that we have the interface functions available to us now like i mentioned previously i want to do a sort of a little bit different storage system for this one so in the event graph what i will actually do is on begin play i will spawn a backpack and attach it to our uh, chest so i will do spawn actor from class and we are going to spawn our master backpack uh, we are going to split the pins and what I will actually do is set my Z axis uh, sort of a ridiculous amount so that it's like really high in the air so that our character wouldn't interact with it. So I'm going to set something like 10,000 in the Z axis so that it will be, would be really really high up in the air and it wouldn't be so that we wouldn't be able to uh, detect it with line trace by channel so that we don't have to manipulate all the collision channels with it. So now what we can do is promote this to a variable so we have our equipped backpack always available as a reference to us and as this equipped backpack we want to get the player slots first and set the amount of slots that we want to have in our chest so from this ri we can do a resize and resize it basically to the amount of items that we want to be able to store in this chest and let's say I want to have 30 slots in this uh, in this chest. Now the next thing what I want to do is just in case if, if it still might be somewhat visible up in the air so that there wouldn't be a dot hanging in the air I will get a reference to the backpack once more and I will set the actor hidden uh, set actor hidden in game and I will set that to true so that the backpack would be invisible so that's basically it we have a storage system available for our chest so now what I want to do is go to my retrieve inventory first because we want to uh, give pass the inventory so we can get the reference to the backpack and we can get the player slots of this backpack plug that in 
and now this function is good so now let's go to our is item available and here we simply want to just like we did previously break the s slot structure of our item break the item itself then let's drag in our backpack and as the backpack let's get the player slots and then from these player slots again we want to get a copy and using the index from the input to retrieve the item split its pins split the item and here we want to check that the row names for both of these would be equal so that those are the same items in that specific index and that is all for this function now in the has space let's try to do this somewhat simple so let's drag in our backpack and let's see we need the so let's look for the empty so find empty slot and let's see if we can find an empty slot first so if we have an empty slot then there should be no issues whatsoever so let's do an if branch check to see if it's true if it is true then we can return true on this if this is false then we want to break our item we want to split this one as well so once we've done that we can get data get data table row from this one right here so plug this into the false so this will retrieve uh, the item information for us now we need the s inventory structure which we can find in our third person characters add item to equipment or to player slots here is the s inventory structure so i'm going to copy that one over here and plug it into this out row now from here we can check if this is can stack so let's do an if on can stack Let's plug that into our row found and if we can't stack then again as our backpack we want to find we want to find a stack we want to find a stack using the item from our input to see if we already have this stackable item in in our backpack then we can do an if branch check and on true we can return this to be true now from the false routes and from this not found we want to return false so let's return on this one so false over here we want to have another false over here and another one up here so this is how the function should look like and so now we are done with our interface functions now let's work on the events so first and foremost we need to work on our start interaction just like for the uh, shop and here what we want to do is as our player we want to set interactable so let's set the interactable to be a reference to self so this specific actor and then as our character we want to create a widget and the class for this one is our UI inventory and the position is going to be the chest now let's work on the event cell item and from this one we want to drag in our equip backpack and all we got to do is simply add item to this backpack uh, if we ever run this event that means that we already have checked whether we have space and there should be no issues now the last thing is the event buy so buy item and from this one again we want to get the reference to our backpack and as our backpack we want to remove amount at index and so for the amount let's split the item let's use the item amount and the index gets passed along to over here so now everything should be just fine the last thing uh, what is also very important is to replicate our variable so our backpack so make sure you replicate this so that everybody across the network would know what's happening with it so i believe we have pretty much set up everything we need we are replicating everything that we need to replicate now we have also a tag so that means that in our third person character we can actually start interacting with it so in our event graph on key e interaction where we are doing our line trace we have our pickup npc uh, we want to do another actor has tag check and we want to check if the tag is our chest there we go and over here what we can actually do is we we need to run the same inter, uh, interface so we can do an or check from these two so from this one let's simply do an or 
and let's check if it's if it has any of these two tags and if they do then we can simply run the start interaction and one last thing that I forgot to do we need to stop simulating physics on this backpack so that it, so that it wouldn't fall down from those 10,000 units up in the air so what we want to do is go to our backpack master and let's see so uh, we have our main components so our static mesh components so that means we need to unsimulate physics on this one yeah that's right so let's go to our BP chest and as our equipped chest the backpack we want to simulate physics so we want to set simulate physics for the static mesh component and the new simulation is going to be false and now since we are reusing this backpack master the backpack itself we uh, are gonna run into an issue with our remove amount at index because well we are running our quick slots removal from over here so uh, if you do not do anything you will retrieve an error uh, once you try to remove items because you uh, it's going to try to remove the quick slots but it's not going to be possible since the player reference does not really exist so what you want to do before you run your quick, quick slot removal as the player you want to check if it is valid so if the character is valid so plug that into the false and then you want to connect your is valid to quick slot removal but from is not valid you want to skip this and go straight to the set ri elements and now the this is going to work properly with the storage unit as well so now we can actually try this out let's press play let's see is the backpack falling because it was falling for me i don't think it is anymore so now everything should be working just fine now let's try to add some items to this Let's bring a some weapons inside of this. So two, three of those. Uh, let's select our. Now let's try this with another character. So let's pick up some more items from this. Let's bring those in. So we have a backpack, a backpack, uh, the vest actually. Let's take out these items from the chest as well. Now let's try to make this system break and it doesn't really break, it works just fine because well we cannot remove items that we don't really have in the chest since we fixed issues in the yesterday's video. So that's basically is going to be it for today's video, a very simple storage system which allows us to reuse our actual backpack so that we don't have to recreate all kinds of functions but uh, we can just rather use the ones we already have and this was actually one of the requests from my Patreons and I always put the Patreon suggestions first so if you want your ideas to be implemented into the series quicker make sure to support me in patreon that helps me quite a lot and yeah that's it for today's video hope you enjoyed it and see you in the next video peace